Hello, this is Yasin Ojia and welcome to my screencast. In this video, I am demonstrating a comprehensive example of aggregation framework from my report. But instead of Mongo Shell, here I am using MongoDB Compass. So MongoDB Compass is a graphical user interface provided by MongoDB to analyze a query really easily. So as you can see here are the number of documents and the sizes of it and this represents the number of indexes that is used to index the, uh, docu the, the database. So uh, here I have uh, used the local host as the host and have connected to the default port here and my database is plc project and the collection is advanced db plc so as you see as you can see that the values of the the collection each documents are represented here and now it is a uh, very really easy here to perform the basic crude operation so here you can see that there are there are really various options of editing copying and the cloning the document as well as deleting it and if one wants to perform a simple query there is this all kind of options available and you have to just input the parameters as a as a json values here so now let's just move to our example but uh, before demonstrating the example here I would just go briefly to the question. Okay, so it's the question number five in the MongoDB Compass section. So the question says that display name, town size, bar food, bookings, and rent details of pubs. There has been a hike in property rents of 10% in Dublin and Cork. So include new rents. Display the new maximum rent within each town and include the count of pubs within that town. Sort the results by updated maximum rent in descending order. So there are uh, there's a lot of things going on here. So I'll just explain uh, explain it to you in the aggregation section of the compass. So as you can see that I already uh, written the code here, but uh, I would be opening the stages and would be describing you as it is happening so as here you can see the preview of the documents in collection this are uh, this random preview in a very random order so now i'll be opening each stage so i will be starting with the within the stages hierarchical hierarchy the project stage is the first so i'm opening or oh, including this stage so this stage specifies all the fields that I need as the output. So here I also included a new field which is not there in the document but it is a new calculated field which is simply the multiplication of the uh, ongoing rent by 1.1. As, as the question mentions that the uh, pubs have the property rates have been hiked to 10%. So this is the new rent for pubs. So the next stage he, here in the project stage I have excluded the ID as zero so there is no ID you can see the outputs here. So the next stage is the match stage so here we will satisfy the results that we need for just towns as uh, the towns which are in uh, the, the, the pubs which are in Dublin or Cork so it will show only the results of pubs in Dublin and Cork So now the third stage is the group stage so in this in this stage the uh, the the value the documents are grouped with respect to town and uh, There are also uh, several other fields uh, called the new max rent so this uh, so this new max rent basically describes the maximum out of the uh, new rent that we created the calculated variable here so it just take out the max out of the new rent and displace it here and the next field 
that uh, is going to be displayed is called count so this actually mentions the uh, total count of the uh, documents that is the number of pubs and within each cities so after that uh, we have our final stage is the source stage so here um, we we simply we reuse the variable called max new rent and max new rent here is being sorted uh, within the descending order so we just have just the two values as the output so here is sorted in the descending order so you see that the max rent of cork is much higher than in, than in dublin that would be all thank you very much for listening to me